Hello fellow nomads, this is Scott from This Nomadic Idea. Welcome back to our channel. Um, we see a lot of YouTube videos from a lot of different RV YouTubers that always talk about what RV parks won't do, what they won't provide. We're gonna show you in this video what this RV park is providing, what they do offer, and you're gonna be shocked because this is not your typical RV park. As you can see, our uh, 1976 Airstream not only is here, but it's welcome. We are at the Verde Ranch RV Resort off of Highway 17 and Highway 260 between Flagstaff, Sedona, Clarkdale, and Camp Verde. In fact, this is in officially Camp Verde right off of Highway 17. Camp Verde RV Resort is a completely different kind of RV resort. First of all, they love the family. They love kids. They want you to bring your kids here. The other thing that is cool about the RV Resort, Camp Verde, or Verde Ranch RV Resort, is that they allow all kinds of rigs here. Yeah, they do don't want clunkers here, absolutely, but they are letting our 1976 Airstream here, and not only are they letting us stay here, but they are welcoming of it. This is a gigantic RV resort with amenities that will blow you away. Hot tub, pool, that's open all year round. Playground, dog park, hiking trails. They just have about everything that you can imagine. So I'm gonna show you around and tell you why if you're in Arizona, you've gotta stop at the Verde Ranch RV Resort. The amenities here are just endless. You've got your swimming pool, you've got your hot tub, you've got a water park for the kids, you have cabins that even if you don't have an RV and you wanna come out here, you can rent a cabin here. This place is huge. They have over 300 spots available for RV parking. They have full hookups, 30 amp, 50 amp, full sewer, full water, uh, they just have everything here. They have a clubhouse in the front that, or lobby in the front where you check in and they have a little store there so you can buy supplies. You can even buy IPA beer if you want there. You have uh, the clubhouse where they have incredible Wi-Fi. And so I hear a lot on YouTube that, oh, RV parks, they're terrible Wi-Fi. They're not family friendly. They're, they don't cater to, if my rig is over 10 years old, they, I can't come in. Not true at this place. In fact, not only is that completely untrue, but you've also heard recently that, oh man, you can't get a spot. 2021, it's too crowded. We called the day before, pulled in, got a spot. We're staying here for a week. At night, usually between eight and 10, we come out here and just kind of relax in the hot tub. It's a great place to meet a few people, have a couple drinks, and just chill after a long, dusty two months in the desert. So the clubhouse here is fantastic. Not only do they have extremely strong Wi-Fi signal, they've got a workout room, they've got a kitchen, you make yourself a cup of coffee, they have uh, private places that you can just sit down and work all day, they have an outside patio right near the Verde River, you can play pickleball, you have a great playground for the kids, and again, the cabins are so close to the clubhouse, it, it just has just about everything that you would look for in an RV resort, but there is one difference. You're not gonna break the bank by staying here. In fact, the only reason why we're here is because it's so affordable. You can pick and choose what kind of spot you want, where you wanna park, do you want the luxury, do you want the canopy, which by the way, the canopy that sits up on the hill is covered and it's completely ran by solar. This is a complete state-of-the-art RV resort that you really wanna be a part of. 
you can go anywhere you want to in the 300 spots they have and it's not that expensive you can expect to pay anywhere from 36 dollars a night to a hundred dollars a night depending on what kind of lifestyle you want if you want a cabin you can spend anywhere from 150 dollars a night for a single bed cabin or 250 dollars a night for a double room cabin the verde ranch rv resort has two separate buildings for laundry for bath and shower for vending machines but the cool thing about the laundry services here is that it all runs on bluetooth and an app that you can download on your smartphone you don't have to carry change you don't have to carry a bunch of quarters you can just bank it and then pick your machine and boom do your laundry it's pretty cool the other thing too is the bathrooms are extremely clean the hot showers are very hot and you really feel a sense of just having the creature comforts of home even if it's just for a little bit so ariana and i are boondockers we're really not rv park people however we're here for two reasons one my dad lives very 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 nearby and you know with with him getting the covid shot and things like that we wanted to kind of be close to here the second thing is we've just spent two months in the desert and we we were pretty dusty and this is a really good place to come out and just kind of clean everything for a few days you know and just kind of reset that boondocking spirit and there's nothing better than that than just to have a creature comfort for even if it's two or three days the other thing too is that um, with our Trust the Trail podcast, we guide people out on adventure backpacking trips and one, one of our guests is coming into this area and I'm going to go backpacking back into the Sycamore Canyon. And so this creates a really good base camp for a lot of different things to do. Sedona, Clarkdale, Cottonwood, Flagstaff. It's a really good place to hang out and create a base camp for yourself. So you want to check out the Verde Ranch RV Resort in Camp Verde, Arizona on the corner of Highway 17 and 260. It really is the gateway to everything fun in and around the Sedona area. It, we would give this a five star rating. I mean, it's really a super nice, friendly place. They, <laughs> you are not going to be treated like you're on the upper echelon of RVing. You're gonna be treated like a regular person. They they uh, they look at your rig, but they're, <laughs> you know, they don't say, oh wow, it's 10 years old. You can't stay here. Um, they're not that kind of uh, RV park. Uh, I cannot believe how many kids are here and the families that are here and the fun that everybody's having. They have events. Um, they're always trying to keep you entertained. This. RV park is owned by a hospitality company and so they know how to treat people and they treat people very well. So you want to check out the Verde Ranch RV Resort, resort in Camp Verde, 300 spots and it is a really nice park. Hope you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, uh, to our video channel and we'll, we will see you later on the road.